know what it takes to manage a racing company. The determination, the formalization, and the recognition. We are Team Barely Managing. And this is our midterm presentation. Are you ready? Hello, my name is Becca and I'm here on behalf of my team, Barely Managing Today, to present to you our midterm presentation. To start with, the name of our mini-series is called Speed Management. Team Barely Managing presents to you a five-part mini-series following five colleagues through the trials and tribulations of running successful racing franchises. Watch as Jessica, Austin, Becca, Nani, and Debbie collaborate to solve problems relating to their establishments and become better managers in the process. We invite you to join us as we learn the management skills and concepts surrounding the classical rational model, diversity, accountability and recognition, customer service, and collaboration. The speed management cast consists of Jessica, the territory manager for MHRA Drag Racing Series. Her main traits are confronting, bold, hypocritical, demanding, and short-tempered. She sets high standards for those that work under her, and there are no mistakes without punishments. She is a tall blonde with shoulder-length hair in her early 40s. Jessica strikes fear in employees' minds when her high heels clank down the hall, and is always dressed in a pressed business suit. Task-driven and focused on achieving goals in a less-than-ideal time period, Jessica has a malicious managing style. While she can be rough and ruthless with her employees, other managers respect her authority and know she just wants the best for her company. Austin is the CEO of Dragon Energy Supercross. His managing style is varied by the book and is usually found checking all profits and expenditures. He is very informative when it comes to what is needed by the employees, but they also know not to screw up their jobs. However, he is very well liked by his employees. Morale is boosted every now and then with birthday parties, time off around the holidays, and team building events. Austin's key traits are money making, seamless work, and strict duties. While he does run a tight business, working for Austin can also be fun. Becca is the general manager of Tampa Bay's go-karts. She is the youngest manager to be a part of the company, and while this is a great step for her future, she is still figuring out her managing style. She is very likable, as eager to succeed and understanding. However, the employees take advantage of these things and see her as a pushover. Still new to the role, she feels it is a last resort to apprehend the misbehaving employees. Ultimately, though, she keeps morale high, which makes the workers happy with their job and the customers happy with the service they receive. As the CEO of Fast Car, Nani is a middle-aged, well-versed woman that just reached 30 years of management experience. 
Newly hired for this job, she is trying to understand the duties and responsibilities of those below her. Nani wants Fast Car to run as smooth as possible since she purchased the company after it took a drop in profit. She does not accept any poor decision making and is willing to fire anyone that may be undermining the company. She has a great work ethic and business model and wants to be the type of CEO that will accomplish the tasks that are set forth to her while balancing employee input, progression goals, and structure. Devi is the owner of a global Formula One racing enterprise. He loves his job and is very passionate about Formula One. He likes to joke around and boost everyone's spirits. He is a very positive and optimistic person, making the best out of every situation the company faces. He does a good job choosing well-qualified employees because he has little room for errors. He is very business-oriented because his job is his baby. The future of the company will be success and nothing less. Hard work equals great payoff is his motto he uses daily. Main traits include listening, positivity, but strict when needed. In episode one of our mini-series called Catch Me If You Can, we follow Becca, the general manager of Tampa Bay's go-karts, as she tries to solve the mystery of the missing snacks. Stock numbers are off and tensions are rising as Becca is unsure whether to blame customers or her own employees. She decides to call some of her colleagues in the business world of racing and receives advice such as installing cameras, coming in early to count before shifts and late to count after shifts, and even holding a company-wide meeting. Can Becca catch the snack thief before it's too late? Episode 2, called Trouble in the Pits, is the series opener for Dragon Energy Supercross. The franchise owner, Austin, acquires a new French rider, Lucille Lieberman. Chaos breaks loose among the pit crew and Lucille when a serious language barrier is discovered and nobody wants to figure out how to make the new partnership work. Now, Austin must weigh the stakes and either find a way to translate or cost his franchise a fortune. Will Austin learn to diversify his company? Oui or non? Episode 3, called Life in Fastlane. Nani, the CEO of Fast Car Nationwide Racing Series, discovers that her trusted managers have not been pulling their weight and instead have been throwing work on lower-level workers' shoulders. Nani is well aware that recognition is deserved for the employees completing the work, but also needs to decide whether to uphold her business morals of integrity and trust and fire the managers or give them the chance to earn their keep once more. She decides to meet with her close friends and colleagues to figure things out and ultimately choose in which direction her company will be heading towards for the future. Should Nani find a way to keep her managers while still recognizing the employees that are actually doing the work? Episode 4, Burnt Rubber. Lately, the MHRA Drag Racing Series has been getting negative reviews about their customer service. One review specifically stated that an employee was spouting negative things about the company, which gave them an overall bad experience. Jessica, the local territory manager for the company, found out that this employee works in her district. She is not sure how to handle this situation, knowing that the customer is always right and that this employee has had previous negative reviews written about them. She considers moving him to a department of the company where he won't interact with the customers or just firing him. But before making a final decision, she decides to talk to her friends, Becca and Debbie, who give her advice on how she might be able to handle the situation. Will Jessica be able to fix MHRA's social media reputation? Episode 5 mode overdrive in episode five of speed management the managers of various speed franchises meet up for drinks to talk about their hectic quarters they discuss the dilemmas they have faced as well as how they ended up solving them and how their friend debbie has been managing his new role as owner of a global formula one racing franchise in this final episode of speed management television the bosses are able to kick back relax reflect and plan for the future what adventure will the managers of speed race after next? Our midterm reflection includes what we have accomplished so far, such as completing the script for all episodes in Milestone 1, completing our barely managing team charter, figuring out the characters and their background and personalities for Milestone 2, as well as a TV show preview video and the PowerPoint presentation. For future responsibilities, Becca, will be a scriptwriter, videographer, 
complete the PowerPoint presentation and provide the location to film our episodes. Austin and Jessica will be the scriptwriters, videographer, and works on props. Nani will be the video editor, scriptwriter, videographer, and also work on props. And Debbie will be the scriptwriter, also a videographer, and again, work on props.